The Giants are in the middle of making a playoff run, and we've been bringing in some of the former players to talk about the change in culture this season. So, you guys remember running back Derek Ward? He won the Super Bowl with the G-Men back in 2007, so let's bring him in. We're going to take a trip down memory lane and talk about what he's seeing from this team this season. D Weezy, big bro, big bro, what's going on? Let's ju just ju jump straight into this because let's talk about this regime. A lot of Giants fans weren't rocking with some of the previous regimes. Joe Shane and Brian Dable have brought in a different energy and they bring in wins. Is this a front office that you would have liked to play for? And what have you seen in the shift of culture in their first season? Yeah, I, I think they finally got it right. After years of going through different coaches, I think uh, Brian Dayball has brought uh, a, a sense of um, competitiveness with the Giants. Um, you, you didn't really get to see that the last four or five years with them. So uh, for them to be in the position that they are, I think they're uh, in second place in the NFC East. And, you know, they got that game coming up with the Eagles. I mean, uh, the sky's the limit for this team. Uh, they remind me, they remind me, of our uh, Super Bowl team, to be honest with you. Nobody gave us a chance that year. And, you know, we ran the tables and we were able to win the Super Bowl. So uh, hopefully they can continue the, the good run that they're having and, you know, get to the playoffs. Because, you, as you know, once you get to the playoffs, anything's possible. Well, I, I got to give you some pushback when you say it reminds you of that 2017. All right, no one believed in that 2017. I get it. But the talent. There was a lot more talent on that 2017 than there was on this team right now. So I, I just throw a little pushback there when it when it comes to that. Yeah, there, there's a lot more talent back then, but these guys are talented too. They're young, okay. and, that, and that's the thing. Um, you know, uh, uh, to be able to to be seven and two right now and, and, you know, going through all the trials and tribulations of a season, I mean, at the at the midway point, to be, to be at this record, nobody in America would have thought the Giants would have been seven and two. And everybody knows once uh, once November comes, that's when you really start to get into a playoff groove and start to to see what type of team you really have. So it's going to be really interesting the last couple of weeks of the season to see where they end up at. Yeah, it's a lot of Vegas bookies out there that's uh, upset with the Giants' success. Uh, let's talk yeah. about this uh, a deep backfield. They're going up against the Lions. They're pretty much three deep in, uh, in their backfield. You've been part of a three-headed monster before, so kind of talk – as a coordinator, if you're a defensive coordinator, how do you limit or how do you stop a, a, a running back rotation that's 3D? It's almost impossible. If, if, if the line is, is in sync with the running back and the running backs are in sync with the offensive line, it's almost impossible to stop. Um, those guys, are, they're doing a, a hell of a job in Detroit running the ball, uh, alternating each running back. So to be able to, to come up against a defense like the Giants, I mean – uh, I, I've, I've noticed that the Giants are a bend but not break type of defense. And if they continue to do what they're supposed to do, they should be able to stop them. All right, well, let's talk about the Giants running back. 2-6 is having himself a year. There's reports that Saquon and the Giants are talking long-term extension. You went through renegotiations with this team before. I know you and Saquon's uh, situations were kind of different, but what advice would you give him going forward for the rest of this season? Um... I'll just tell him to enjoy this this uh, this ride that he's having. I mean, uh, as you know, I, I went through a lot of injuries when I was with the Giants as well. And uh, I had that great season back in 2007, 2008. And uh, for him to come back and, and prove all the doubters wrong, it just makes me happy because for some reason, the NFL has bypassed running backs. I don't know why, but we, we do the most. We run the ball. We block. We catch. We do everything that we're asked to do. And we're still held to a, a lower standard than everybody else. So for him to be back and, and, and doing what he's supposed to be doing and, and now the number one rusher in the NFL, it, it just makes me happy to see that he's uh, back to Saquon. D. Ward headlining the Get Running Backs Paid Again campaign. But let's talk, <laughs> uh, Saquon's got 198 carries, 931 yards on the season. Do you feel as though at this point in the season he is being overused? I don't think so. I, I think he's he's a young, dynamic running back. Uh, he can take it, as as we've seen in the past. Um, to be able to to be in the top, be the top rusher in the NFL, and also have the receiving yards, it's just helping this team get to where they need to get. And if they need to, if he needs to carry the rock, if he needs to catch the ball, that's what he's going to do. And I don't think it, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. 
D Ward, you're gonna be at the game on Sunday, right? I'm gonna try, man. I, I get in there on Friday and uh, for this autograph signing in, in uh, New Jersey with uh, with my guy, uh, license plate Joe. So we're gonna see. I'm, I'm gonna try to make it. We gotta get you in MetLife Stadium, man. A blast from a past. You're my big bro. Uh, I always remember when uh, you took me to live down in. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We won't <laughs> mention that, but that was a great time, man. Thanks for joining us and uh, taking time out your day, big bro. No problem, man. Thanks for having me. Proud of you, bro.